right, so it's been a while since I have done a video, so we're going to see if I can remember how to do this. Uh, obviously, if you have seen my posts both on Instagram and also here, I, I put a little kind of static picture up on YouTube to tell you where I've been and why I'm not producing any new content. It has been because I have been making masks for people in my area who needed them, along with countless others in the sewing community doing their part during this pandemic and strange time. So I am getting back into my projects now. So I am hoping to be finishing up this dress either today or tomorrow. And I will show you. This is my pattern that I am working on currently. And I'll do a close up for you so that you can see more of the detail. I already have the pieces cut out for it and I had gone through a couple of the steps. Now, unfortunately, I've lost the footage for those first two steps, so I will do a quick overview of those for you and then we will get into the rest of creating this wrap dress. So, okay, so let's go over the things that I had gone ahead and done before but now are lost. <laughs> Um, so I have done just a couple of these to show you, but I have my darts prepared and I do not like to use tracing paper. So what I do instead is I take my marks and I do at the points, I put in a tailor's tack and then I set my darts and will press them and then I will sew them down. So you can see here that I have already finished this one and then I have this one to do next and then the whole rest of this piece. And then I am making the contrasting view of this. So I have this blue and then I have a darker blue and I will show you that next. Okay, so I have all of my pieces done as far as my darts are concerned. And you can see that I have taken out all of my thread tailor tacks, and these are my contrasting colors. The video has a hard time picking up what they actually look like, so I'm hoping once I get it done and actually take pictures outside in the sunlight, you're going to be able to see it a little bit better. But anyway, I have my pieces laid out. I am supposed to be attaching the facings next, so I'm going to do that. And then I will try to make some sense of how this goes together. Um, I've read the directions about four or five times to try to make sense of it myself. And I think now that I've got my pieces laid out, it kind of makes a little bit more sense. One other thing that I did was I made my own covered buttons because this is going to be at the top and then my fabric is going to get buttoned down with these. So I like the contrast there. So, all right, on to the next step. So now everything, um, I'm pretty much ready to put the dress together. So I'm gonna show you, this is the inside. And so I have done the stitching all along here. And this part actually, I shouldn't have done this. I should have just taken the interfacing and attached it directly to one of, to the inside piece, but I made an extra piece. So I just went with it. So on the inside, this is all stitched down. And then these curves here have been clipped and all of this has been pressed. You can see that the shoulders are left open. Uh, I'll do a little bit in a minute to show you how I'm going to attach these. So this is the inside of the front of the dress. So this is the right side and this is the inside. And then this is the back of the dress. So here's our contrasting. So I've done the same thing here. And you can see that I have gone ahead and attached it. And then in these corners, I clipped the corners and used my point turner and went ahead and pressed all of this. Same deal with this here. This is an extra piece. I should not have made this, but I did. And so I'm just going with it. And I have left my shoulders open here as well. So what you're seeing is the inside of the back piece. And so this is the right side. 
inside. And I've already gone ahead and turned up my seam allowance for the inside of the back, and I will actually be stitching this down. The directions call for slip stitching, but I am gonna go ahead and stitch it down anyway with the machine just because I like the added detail of having the um, the visible visible stitching on the outside. So next I'm going to go ahead and pin these shoulders together so that you can see how that's going to come together. And then uh, really it's just a matter of finishing up the hem and then I will put the buttons on and I will show you how that looks. And we'll pretty much be done with this dress. So you can see that I have my shoulders pinned together now. So this is to try to explain it, this is actually going to be the part that you can see from the outside. So this is the outside that's pinned together, and then I will slip stitch the inside by hand. So um, I'm going to try to do as much of this by machine as possible, but just some of it is probably going to have to be slip stitched. So. It's pinned and I will get this under the machine and I will go ahead and stitch this part down and do all of my all of my hemming around it and then show you the last little bit which will be attaching the buttons, doing the buttonholes, and then we'll have a completed dress. So I am on my last step which is attaching the buttons and I wanted to show you how I am doing this because my buttons are an unusual size. So I've done covered buttons for this dress and these are an inch and a half. So obviously for an inch and a half size button, you can't put that on with an automatic button holder. So what I did is I took my buttons, um, I put this on ahead of uh, doing these buttons and um, and I set where I wanted the buttons to be and I put the button on here and you can see that I made just put pins where I want this to be set so you're gonna have your this is the top and the bottom and then I'm gonna go down both sides of this so you can see here that I have started out my large button so I have across the top and the bottom and then up both sides. So that's just to mark my place. And then what I'm going to go back and do is um, a zigzag stitch over top of this. Um, so I'll go over each of these lines here and then you can just clip right down the middle like you would on any other button. So I will show you that and then I'll give you the completed look. So here is our finished button and the shoulders and then you're going to get a look at the back and this is our finished product thanks for following along and we'll see you for the next project